Hey everyone, welcome back to yet another Syncast. In this video, we will talk about how we can publish our PHP library to Packagist. So anyone can install our library using Composer in their own project. If you don't know about Composer, it's like NPM for PHP. Composer is a package dependency manager for PHP. In the previous video, I have created a random codes generator that has a simple class that basically generates a random code. Uh, here's the code that we have done in the previous video. So it basically generates a random code for us. So in order to publish it to Packagist, we have to create a composer.json file. So let's do this. I'll open up the terminal here. In the terminal, type composer in it. Hit return or enter. So what would be the package name? I will keep the package name as it is right now. I'm going to hit return to continue the default one. Description. I'm going to add a description. You should add a description to your library as well. So let's say this library uh, will generate a random code for here. So package type, this is important. Which one is going to be our package type? A framework could be a project. For example, Laravel is a project. And packages like this is basically a library. I'm going to type here a library. This is the MIT license. No. We do not have any dependencies. Yes. So Composer will generate a Composer JSON file for us. Everything is just perfect here. But all we need to do is we have to add a auto load property. So inside the auto load property, we will tell Composer which standard we are going to use and the namespace it should map to. So we're going to use the PSR4. And uh, now we will map our library to a custom namespace. To avoid further issues, um, we should always use the namespace that we have defined in our class file followed by double slashes and here I have to tell the destination so this is for in our cases src directory so this is basically we're telling composer in where it should look for our class file this is inside the src directory alright now I'm going to commit this change and push it to our github repository As you can see, the composer.json file was added. Now we are ready to publish our library to Packagist. So go to packages.org and log in using your GitHub or whatever and hit the submit link here. And in here you have to type your repository URL. So I'm going to copy this URL and paste it back here and click the check button. All right, now click the submit button to confirm submission. Now we will have to add packages to the GitHub service hook. In order to do that, go to the GitHub repository and click on the settings. Now go to the integrations and services. In here, click on the app service and type here packages. Select packages and here we have to give some credentials. So the user, type your email address here. Please don't send me spam email, okay? Now here I have to uh, type the token. So from where are you gonna get the token? Go back to packages and go to your profile. In the profile, there is a button called show API token. If you click on this, the token will be appear in here. So copy the token and paste it back here. I'm gonna leave the domain and make sure the active is selected. Click on the add service. All right, that hook was successfully created. Now we have to create a new release. Here you will see zero releases. Before I started creating this video, I did few releases. In your case, there should be zero release. So click on this link and click on draft a new release. 
version I'm gonna name this version 1.0 and here you should keep the release title and describe about the release like what kind of bugs you have fixed or what kind of new features there there could be I'm gonna leave that empty for now so click the publish release all right we now have the release here uh, go back to the packages and click on the update and once you update that you can see that inside the tag lists I have the 1.0 now in your case you, do, you will not going to have these tags I created them earlier or I probably I think I can delete them but I will leave it as it is for now okay so now it's time for us to test so I'll copy this command I'll go back to my desktop I'm gonna create a new project here let's call our project good codes I'm going to open this again in VS code I'm gonna open up a terminal Inside the terminal I'm gonna say composer I'm gonna just paste that command all right hit return and let composer install the library for you all right so composer installed the library but if you take a look at here it picked the previous uh, release uh, though I have the latest release composer didn't pick that up all right so to fix that uh, if you take a look at the tag is 1.0 so the latest release is 1.0 I'm gonna have to manually update that you probably not gonna have to do that because uh, you don't gonna have this tag I'm hoping that I'm not making you confused but again this is important for you to understand so now how you how you gonna upgrade your library to the latest version so you just have the ID the release ID here and here now you have to say composer update so you learned a new thing which is good all right composer is a good boy it upgraded the library to 1.0 great now I'm gonna have a test file here let's do this index.php so inside the test file I'm gonna first have to import the auto load, auto loader require once inside the vendor I have the auto loader PHP so now here I'm gonna say code equals to new um, take a look at the vendor here I have my library Inside the source random codes, the name is business random codes as well, according to the class name. However, if you take a look at the uh, composer inside the autoload psr4.php, here you can see that composer has mapped our namespace with the library. Okay, so now we're gonna have to call the uh, now we are going to have to call the generate method that our library provides so I'm gonna print R as it is an array code generate so I'll say php php index.php and boom here we have a new code let's do it again okay let's read the code uh, what you are is what you have been what you will be is what you do now my goodness that's something okay let's do another one uh, when it is obvious that the goals cannot be reached don't adjust the goal adjust the action steps hmm, okay good one if you want things to be different perhaps the answer is to become different yourself Happiness often snakes in through a door you didn't know you left open. This is kind of true. I have this happened to me. One today is worth two tomorrows. Okay, and that's all for today. I'm not gonna waste your time anymore. But uh, but to be honest, I think I'm going to read a few more codes. It's going to really inspire me, help me motivate, keep things doing. However, if you want to motivate me on doing this thing, um, make more videos, please go ahead, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And also, I'm, on, I'm available on every social media, 
on the on this username self-promotion time recently i made a database using php called slickdb it's available in slickdb.github.io so make sure you give it a try if you are interested it works uh, it works just intuitively and i hope you're gonna love it um, that's all for today's video thank you for watching i hope it helps